Making upgrades to your desk setup can easily make your workday more enjoyable and comfortable. However, knowing where to spend your hard-earned money can be a daunting task. But it doesn't have to be. I'm here to help. After building different setups over the years, I have learned what upgrades truly matter when designing a desk setup that is both functional and aesthetically pleasing. I have bought unnecessary products that I saw other people were using, I bought cheap things that ended up costing me more money, and I have bought expensive things that really weren't worth it. You can say that I learned the hard way, but don't worry, I'm here to share the top 10 desk setup upgrades that I think actually makes a difference. I'll assume that you already have a desk, potentially a height adjustable one, and you just wanna know what to upgrade next. And of course, I'll link all the products that I'll be mentioning in the description below. When creating a desk setup, one thing that is so important but often overlooked is a chair. Having a chair that is ergonomically designed and provides good support can help reduce fatigue, improve posture, and create an overall better working experience. I started off with a $60 chair and initially it seemed fine, but after a few months my back started hurting and I've tried a few others since. Although comfort is subjective, I have found better experience in investing in a more premium chair than not. The chair that I'm using is the U2 chair. Organ Office sent this for me to try out. They're not sponsoring this video and I'm free to say whatever I want. This chair looks very unassuming. It's a professional looking chair while still having visually appealing characteristics. The one I have is the Midnight Pepper Combo. The back has an elastomeric mesh that feels nice to lean on. It gives you enough support and it keeps you cool. I opted for the fabric seat version and I have no regrets. I was worried initially because because I have sat on chairs that have fabric seating and it would just make your butt uncomfortably warm. But I'm happy to say that that's not the case with a U2 chair. I find it really comfortable to sit on, but what makes this chair special is the amount of adjustments it has. Obviously, you can adjust the height of the chair so you can avoid knee strain. The chair has a dynamic tilt, which you could set so it allows you to move or even lock it in your preferred reclining angle. There's also a seat slider adjustment that lets you glide the seat in and out to find the optimal position for you. You can also raise the armrest up or down to get proper support for your forearms and if you think it's necessary you can get the one with an adjustable back height so you can really customize it for your body. But my favorite is the lumbar support adjustment. This u-shaped back has an adjustable tension support which you can adjust by turning this handle in the back and it helps relieve any stress from your lower back. This chair is so amazing. I honestly fell in love with it the moment I sat on it. And if you want to make an investment that matters for your desk setup, I highly suggest that you look into an ergonomic chair like this U2 chair from Ergon Office. Using a monitor arm can make a huge difference to any setup. Most monitors have ugly stands, and not only that, they take up precious desk space. Adding a monitor arm helps streamline the look of your setup, and most of the time, they have a built-in cable management, which is awesome. The best one I have used so far is from Ergotron. I have it currently in my gaming setup and I used to have it in my main setup. It's super sturdy. It's perfect for 34 inch ultra wide monitors. That's what I was using for a while until I switched to the Apple Studio display. And now I'm using the Ergon Office monitor arm, which takes up such a small footprint. Just take a look at how it compares to the Ergotron. This allows you to move your monitor up or down, tilt it to the left or to the right. It's just a great way to find the optimal viewing angle for you or somebody sitting next to you. If you're looking for a more budget option, I have tried the ones from Vivo and they get the job done, but adjusting the monitor can be a pain. But if you don't think you'll be adjusting your monitor all that much, then it might be bearable. If you don't like the look of a monitor arm or you want something with more storage or organization, getting a desk shelf is a great option. There are a ton of different ones out there, so let's go over a few of the ones that I've used and liked. You can get something very simple, like this one from Target, it's literally a C-shaped stand to place your monitor on. I was using this for a while and it served its purpose. But if you want something more attractive, then I suggest something like this Ergon Office monitor stand. It's built out of solid wood. It definitely adds a bit more character to your setup. However, it does take a bit more desk space 
space, but it gives you organization. You can put accessories on top of the shelf and you can even store some things below the shelf. The great thing about using a desk shelf is that it can help hide visual clutter like cables pretty well. So that's something to keep in mind. If you wanna get something with added functionality, then the GroveMade desk shelf is something you should consider. You can get even more organization and storage because you can pair it with a tray. The one I'm showing here is the first version of this desk shelf. Since then, GroveMade has made some upgrades and they extended the metal shelf to go across the length of the desk shelf. They offer different finishes and sizes, which is great because you can find something that fits your needs. Another option would be Belolo's setup cockpit. I've talked about this in a previous video that I've linked in the cards above, so I won't go too deep into it. But the main difference with this is that it has a mounting grid system which allows you to attach accessories and customize your setup. Lastly, a new entry to this category is Ugmonk's Gather Collection. This monitor stand offers functionality and flexibility. It uses a magnetic system which keeps your accessories secure while still giving you freedom to move things around to complement your dynamic workflow. I talked about the Gather Collection in the video that I have right here and I highly suggest that you check it out if you're interested. I have created multiple desk setups and every time the one upgrade I found myself looking for is a monitor light bar. The first time I had one was back in 2020 and since then, I always find myself missing this functionality whenever I don't have it installed. It's awesome in helping reduce eye strain. It's perfect for working at night or in darker environments. It's a great task light when referring to drawings and documents, and it's great in helping create a better vibe in your space. Some people don't like the look of it, but I personally don't mind it at all. The one I'm using is the one from BenQ. I've had this since 2020 and it still works great. The one I had prior to this was a cheaper version from Amazon, which stopped working after three months or something. And so this is the only one that I can truly vouch for, even though I know that there are more affordable ones out there. While we're on the subject of lighting, adding lights to your desk setup can help create a better atmosphere in your space. You can add an LED strip behind your desk, install some light panels on your walls, add a floor lamp, whatever fits your style. Just introduce something that can add some life to the space, especially if you like working in a darker environment or at night. I like using Govi because they have a ton of different lighting options like this Lyra lamp. It's one of my favorites. I think it's a great way to add interest to your space. I've also used their LED strips and even their light bulbs and they work great. What's awesome too is that they have an app where you can change colors, create schedules and whatnot, and you don't need to buy a separate hub. Having computer wallpapers that match the look that you're going for is important. And if you guys like the wallpaper you've been seeing in this video, I created them myself. I recently released this. It's called the Topographica Wallpaper Pack. I'll have them linked in the description below along with my other wallpaper packs. Getting my wallpaper pack is a great way to show support to the channel. It helps me create more videos just like this one and I greatly appreciate it. Getting rid of visual clutter makes a big difference. Sometimes when I'm too stressed out, I just start cleaning my space and afterwards I typically feel a bit better. One way to help reduce visual clutter is by managing your cables. I've shared a little bit about my cable management strategy in two other videos that I'll link up here, but basically I get an extension cord mount it under the desk and then I plug everything into it and then I use these cable raceways to help manage the cables. And that's pretty much all you need. My wife's desk setup has this system, my old PS5 desk setup had it too, but if you really want to make life easier for you, you can get the cable management solution from Ergon Office. It's the one I'm using. It comes with a power strip and a metal rack that you screw onto your desk and it makes everything much easier. The perforations are there so that you can use a zip tie or cable ties to manage any excess cables. It's honestly so convenient and if you need to make changes, it's super easy. The thing about cable management is if you do it right, you just need to do it once and it could have a big effect on your setup. Adding a set of speakers to your desk setup is so crucial. Quality audio can help reduce distractions and make your workspace more enjoyable. I like listening to music or podcasts when I'm deep in work, and I don't always like wearing headphones. 
I have a couple of options for speakers that I really like. The first is the Logitech Z533. It's an affordable speaker that offers great sound quality. It has a powerful subwoofer and a lot of volume, which is really great for anyone. The second is the U2 Kanto speakers. I had it on my gaming setup and it was perfect for when I'm sitting on my desk. And recently I reintegrated the U4 Kanto speakers into my desk setup. And it's perfect for when I'm listening on my desk and when I'm moving around in my space. Getting a functional mouse and keyboard is also important. You can get ones with added functionality like being able to switch between devices, ones that have different lighting modes, ones that have customizable buttons, and you can even build your own. For most, I would suggest the MX Mechanical Mini and the MX Master 3S. They are wireless, which is great for keeping your desk setup clean. The keyboard, in my opinion, is responsive and it's great for productivity. The mouse has additional buttons that you can customize and this thumb scroll is actually really clutch. They have great battery life and I've never had a bad experience with Logitech. They just work. It is an investment but I think it's totally worth it. Adding plants and greenery to your desk setup can really help make the space look more inviting and lively. I'm trying to be better at this. I'm trying to add real plants to my setup this year. Don't tell anyone. I have fake plants in my home office, but seriously, studies have shown that having plants in your space can help reduce stress levels and boost productivity. And from an aesthetic standpoint, it helps bring balance and break up the harsh and cold materials often found in a desk setup. And I think it just gives your space more life. I hope these 10 upgrades can help you build a setup that leads to increased efficiency, productivity, and comfort. If you guys have any must-have upgrades that I missed, please let me know. And if you made it this far into the video, let me know by saying matter in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.